look at your drawing, try to compose this uh, piece as we're adding these parts to it. So it's trying to add some of this here. So I'm just trying to get the overall length and width of this to, to fit within here. And I might throw in this angle here just to give me a line. Okay. So in this case, this uh, shape, if you can build it up <coughs> off of a rectangular start, so right now I have the length of this, the height of it, and I'm going to do the right-hand side, the width of this one. And just to uh, just to kind of start this, if I need to find the center, I'm just going to cross these diagonal lines. And that's the center, so this will give me a parallel line for the front. And set that up pretty quickly. Okay. And the bottom part of this clip, this wood part, is there. It's going to have the same distance back, but at a certain part, it stops and tapers back to that piece of wood. So that gives you that first, first selection there. So I'm just going to make this a little thicker as it comes down there. Kind of give it a little bit of an animation feel to it. And again, trying to adjust the position of this clamp right there for the metal. <coughs> and this is going to have keeping these lines parallel. So it'll fit. So I'm kind of drawing through it just like in the animation file. That's the bottom part. <coughs> Take a look at the top. I have this first section just kind of there. It's going to angle itself, but I started off with a straight <coughs> rectangular piece. And this part clips itself. And kind of bracket it. So it has this same idea where it breaks off, changes direction, and that gives me this side panel here. <coughs> so I'm just kind of lightly sketching this out. This also has a line that I'm making parallel to this one, this part, also to the front so that it makes it much easier to illustrate. I'm just connecting these two together. So that builds that part. This has a little curve, a little part for the metal clasp to hit right here. So I'm just going to connect that, set the groove that'll fit into there. This part's going to curve. And this part curves off. So again, trying to break this off into, into the planes that builds this piece up. That makes that simple. And then coming down again to this bracket. Now I might use a little bit of a template. You can still do it freehand. It will work fine. And this clamp does the same thing on the opposite side. So just kind of fitting that in there. So without getting too much detail, just trying to block this out. this section up so there. So kind of have just this initial <coughs> sketch placed in there. And now just going to incorporate a template. So it is on an isometric uh, side of it. <laughs> so depending, so for example, this is the top view that you would see. If you rotate it once to the right, or in this case to the left, and it'll build up that side so you can use this angle here. I'll just slide this down a little bit. So for example, there it is from the top side. It rotates to fit on this panel. So I'm just going to try to line this up. the 30 degree line. So this will just have to use it one time here. 
So I'm just going to heavy this up real good. And then just find a smaller one to fit right within it. You can even offset these. These aren't super <coughs> delineated here. Okay, so it's just giving me a, a lip like that. <coughs> and now the rest of it I can start, if I want to use a straight edge, I can just line that up to help me shade it at the same time putting this together. For example, if I take a look at this curve, just drop this down. Here's where it's coming down to. And just throw some shading, kind of use it with the technique there. Come back down to this metal part, it goes up and under. kind of come into this this edge and again whichever edges you find So it is, is a pretty crisp piece of wood, but it does have some imperfections, so you can kind of draw that in there. And this, for example, this front corner is kind of rounded off. And this part comes down. You can see it builds itself pretty quickly, even if it has a heavy, heavier outline to it. After laying it out and then going over it a second time, there's some other delineated outlines that you'll lose in the shading, but at least it gets you that set up. So just gonna go back into the metal part of this to to find that edge. Just almost like a posterized piece since it's almost a metallic surface wraps around there. Take a look at the overall values, you'll see the darkest sections on this. This is going to have some wood grains. I can <coughs> keep this freehand as far as the texture. But once it gets up to the edge, just let that blend in to the line and lose the line and bring the value down. OK, 
cast shadow back here. And then just again taking a look at the wood texture that you're touching. <coughs> this Right at this intersection where all three of these planes meet, you want to show a definite, definite difference to them. Take a look at the edge if you want to. You can hit it with some eraser mix to change the edging of it. 